So this little video is, uh, I guess, uh, wishing everybody a very, very Merry Christmas, very Happy New Year, successful, profitable, Happy New Year. And just to let everyone know, all those people um, back home in Australia, that, uh, yeah, I miss you all very much. Um, I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm having a really good time. I'm uh, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Uh, next year's the big 7-0, and uh, I think I'm doing better than Keith Richards anyway. So, yeah, so I miss you all. It's been now just over 12 months, just over a year since I uh, packed up and moved to Thailand. Many things have happened. Many, many things have happened. Uh, there's been uh, a lot of water under the bridge and uh, it's all good. Uh, things didn't go as planned as uh, I divulged my my plans to uh, a few of you. And uh, yeah, it didn't really go as planned, but you know, this is the way things are. I'm at that stage in my life now where uh, no matter what happens, uh, I'm quite content, I'm quite happy. Uh, and uh, I don't get too upset by anything. I don't like anything really, really bother me. Nothing's permanent in this life. So, uh, you know, why bother hanging on to something that's, that's going to change anyway? So, yeah, so it's been a good 12 months. I've probably done more in this year in Thailand than I've done in almost all my life put together. I've been... Uh, really busy. I really, really love being retired because I get to do so many things. I'm traveling a lot. I ride the bike around a lot. I get on the bike and I, I do three, four hour trips, five hour trips. Next week, I'm going to do a two day trip up to a place called Mahasarakam, which is up in central Thailand up to a rural area up there. I've just come back from a place called uh, Pak Chong Kauyai, which is a really beautiful area of Thailand. I spent four days on a, on a, on a property up there that's uh, in a rural community, a really beautiful place. It's on a plateau up in the middle of the mountains. It's the first place in Thailand I've ever been cold. I actually had to put a jumper on and met some really, really wonderful Thai people. Uh, they took me in as part of the family, basically. They fed me, they put me up, they accommodated me and, uh, you know, went out and did stuff on the farm with them and it was just fantastic. They took me around to a lot of places, went into town, into the markets almost every day. Had a really good time, yeah. So everything's good here. Um, I'm really uh, enjoying uh, my little hobby of uh, producing YouTube videos. Although some of you haven't subscribed yet, naughty, naughty, I need one more subscriber as of today to make my first 100, but I want a thousand. So, you know, start sharing the videos around, you know, share them and subscribe to them. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to a YouTube video, you know, and it really helps me with the algorithms. I really want to build the channel up. So when, uh, get a little bit more well known. Though you'll notice if ever you watch a lot of YouTube videos on Thailand, a lot of them are about the bar areas in Pattaya, Phuket, Bangkok, places like that. I don't know, I just don't really like doing videos about that stuff. I mean, it, it's done to death and those guys get a lot of subscribers, a lot of people like to watch that sort of stuff, but it, it's just not really my cup of tea, you know I mean? Number one, a lot of people in those bars don't want to be seen on the internet in those bars. You know, guys don't want their girlfriends or their wives seeing them in the bars when they're supposedly away working or away playing golf or something like that, you know. So, you know, and a lot of the girls don't really want their family to see them working in those places. So, you know, I just stay away from those sort of places and I, and I won't video them. I won't intrude on people's 
lives doing their own private thing. So that's why I don't do those sort of videos. The videos I'm doing are more to do with the ascetic and uh, ascetic type of uh, parts of Thailand and the temples, the beauty of the temples, the asceticism of the temples. Uh, I really like that sort of stuff. And uh, meeting Thai people, uh, you know, the markets and, and things like that that you're just not going to go and see every day in everyday life in, in Australia or you know, US or England or any of those places, you know. So that's why I choose to do the videos that I'm doing. And I don't suppose they got a big call, you know, occasionally I'll put a cute uh, girl on the on the, on the front of the video was a bit of clickbait of course I'm guilty guilty as charged you know but it seems to work a couple of the videos I've put that sort of uh, picture on the uh, and a little bit of a clickbait heading it seemed to have got a, a hell of a lot more views although they don't film for very long uh, but yeah so yeah so I'm enjoying that part of my life here I I love living in Thailand. It's fantastic. It's warm all the time. Although today, it's a beautiful sunny day outside. I've been out already, but there's a really cool breeze blowing. It's probably about 24 to 26 degrees, which is really nice here because, you know, in the hot season and the wet season, it's like 35 to 40 and about 80 to 90 percent humidity. So it gets a little bit oppressive at times, the heat. But you choose uh, where to go, what to do. I'm not far from the beach. I'm about a kilometre from Cha'am Beach, which is on the Gulf of Thailand, about uh, three hours south by car from Bangkok. Uh, if I need to do anything in Bangkok, it's uh, it's not a bad trip up there. I, I went up on the bike uh, last week and... Uh, that was a pretty good trip. It was a little bit hectic getting into Bangkok at peak hour. It was a bit scary in the traffic because you can't slow down or stop and be stopping to look at the GPS because you're, you're on freeways and everyone's going, you know, 10 to the dozen trying to get to work on time and stuff like that. So that was a little bit stressful. But uh, when I left to come back home, I left at 6 a.m. in the morning. So there wasn't much traffic and it was pretty easy. Yeah, so... Things are good here. I hope everyone else is uh, fine at home. Uh, this video will go public, of course, but mainly it's for those uh, people at home that I really miss and to and my family, Billy, Vera, May, Hope, Sierra, Zali. I miss you all so much and I love seeing all your photos and videos and all the stuff that you're up to. I watch every day your Instagram stories, your Facebook stuff. I look every day and uh, yeah, I miss you all, but you know, got to do what you got to do. I'm choking up a bit, but uh, yeah, because I really miss you. And, and this is that you all know that I don't particularly like Christmas. You know, I think it's a commercialised blah, blah, blah. But, uh, you know, uh, it is a time of year when we get to uh, share the love we have for those that are close to us, for our friends, our family. And I'd just like to uh, get this video out to you all. Uh, all those people that have helped me through my life, that have been a part of my life, all the time I was living there in Australia, all those people that I've left behind that were good friends, that have cared for me, that have helped me, that have put up with me <laughs> through uh, times where I was maybe not such a pleasant human being or maybe just a little bit crazy. Uh, there were reasons for that. Some of you know, some of you don't need to know. And... Uh, yeah, it's that time of year and I just want to send you all my love and all my best wishes for Christmas and all my hopes and dreams for you all for the new year and uh, I hope you all stay really healthy, really happy and uh, yeah, just really enjoy life. Life is short and it's meant to be enjoyed. Don't stress too much on things, you know. 
things happen, you can't change them. So just move on, be happy. Any of you having a hard time, you can always contact me on Messenger. I'm always here ready to talk to any of you, anyone, of course. Uh, you know, there are some special friends that have been extremely helpful and supportive of me through my life. You all know who you are. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to mention any names. But uh, all of you, uh, those few friends I had uh, in my last workplace, you know who you are. And uh, some of you were extremely helpful and supportive of me. Uh, especially when I decided to pack up and leave Australia and move to Thailand. And uh, I've got a pretty big house here all to myself. And uh, there's a spare room. So your room is here waiting for you. So I'd really love to get uh, some visitors at some stage when we can all travel again. I'm basically stuck here for the next year on my visa. So not that I want to go anywhere outside Thailand at the moment anyway. So yeah, and uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying the YouTube videos. It's my little hobby. I quite enjoy it. Uh, I'm not the greatest photographer in the world. I'm not the greatest narrator in the world either, but I, I hope you enjoy watching the places I go and the things I do and what I see. Uh, I try to bring a little bit of my life into your life with the videos. Uh, also, of course, to uh, other people who don't even know me from a bar of soap, anyone that watches my videos, I thank you very much. Those people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm so grateful. I'm really happy the people that like and share the videos. Also, I'm very grateful and very happy that you do so. And especially those people that always leave a comment for me. Uh, yeah, that's uh, nice to get some feedback uh, on a hobby that I enjoy so much. So this little video will go up on YouTube, even though it's uh, relatively private. Uh, it's just to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Everybody have a Merry Christmas, a very happy, prosperous and safe and healthy New Year. I wish you all the best. And for those I love so dearly, I love you very much. And I miss you all. So Merry Christmas. Sawadee Cup.